The Renaissance is well known for its beautiful arts and intriguing philosophical thought, a time period full of legendary artists and geniuses. This time period laid down the foundations for future discoveries and made a huge impact on the world we live in. People began to think for themselves as well as rely on the patronage of others. It was a time of trade and wealth. People questioned things, creating theories and concepts, and made some pretty big discoveries. This all led to how we think and act now. One of these new philosophical systems of thought was called secularism. Secularism focuses on the earthly life rather than the sacred or heavenly. People began to appreciate their human way of life rather than look to the heavens. Of course, there were still those who continued in their religious thought. Non-secularism, or the sacred life, focuses more on religion and spiritual beliefs. A lot of Renaissance artwork displays religious thought, but we also see plenty of secular images that are from day-to-day -day life. An example of this, excuse my pronunciation, is Fra Filippo Lippi's Madonna and Child, a painting that shows, simply, a mother and her child, as average as it can get. Trade during the Renaissance led to a new kind of economy. Rather than having to trade goods for goods, they could now trade goods for currency. Many people, especially a certain family of merchants and bankers, became wealthy from this new form of trade and soon became patrons of the arts and thought. The Medici family, aka the House of Medici, were first merchants and bankers. Giovanni de' Medici brought the family to a state of fame and power by starting the Medici Bank. Their bank is very similar to the banks we have today. It made loans, held deposits, exchanged money, and administered business. Cosimo de' Medici, the son, became Grand Maestro of Florence in 1434. The Medici family ruled for the next 200 or so years. This family is well known for their patronage of the arts and architecture. Their patronage during the Renaissance made a huge impact. It helped artists to focus on their work rather than worry about the financial side of things. Now, the Medicis didn't just support the arts. They also supported science and thought. They incorporated this into the arts because they thought of art as a form of education. So artists were asked to show philosophical thought in their work. This is extremely important because if the Medicis just handed over the money rather than put thought into it as well, the final results might not have been as extravagant as they ended up being. This philosophical thought and realism is shown in Michelangelo's work. Michelangelo was a sculptor, painter, and architect. He's well known for his work on the Sistine Chapel ceiling and his David sculptures. He received many commissions from wealthy people, one of them being Lorenzo de' Medici. Michelangelo transformed Lorenzo into a hero when he created his statue, the one located at his tomb. He portrayed him as wearing Roman armor and his finger rested upon his lips, deep in thought. Michelangelo even lived with the Medicis for a while. Galileo Galilei was also supported by the Medicis. Galileo is considered the father of modern science. His work contributed to the fields of astronomy, mathematics, physics, cosmology, and philosophy. His work was also heavily influenced by Copernicus's work and the heliocentric model. However, his biggest contribution is the development of a telescope. This telescope helped him make his biggest discoveries, such as the phases of Venus. Galileo was also a tutor for some of the Medici's children. He even named some of Jupiter's moons after them. The Renaissance gave us a new perspective on life through its incredible art, architecture, and thought processes. It was a time for discovery and creation. The Renaissance connected the past, present, and future, and we can learn a lot from this interesting time period.